we use touch gestures such as tap, double tap, drag, and touch and hold. To expand touch info vocabulary, we may use multi-touch operations. Wait, have we covered all single finger gestures? We locked all touch events while using popular table applications. We plotted all consecutive taps by time and distance from the previous taps. There were taps, double taps, and empty space. We named it consecutive distance taps. We designed two interaction techniques that utilize consecutive distance taps. Tap tap is a simple technique that uses two consecutive taps. Tap 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 uses a series of consecutive distance taps to define a spatial gesture. Let me explain tap tap first. Tap tap uses consecutive distance taps to activate handles, and those handles work like multi-touch points. So, we can easily scale and rotate with just one hand without holding double taps. The second tap can be continued with a drag for a seamless manipulation. Tap tap can also be used to scale and rotate a map. We can use tap tap to invoke a virtual scroll wheel. or to use a pie menu. Now, tap tap tap. We can form a spatial gesture with a series of consecutive taps. But how can users memorize complex gestures? We made gestures based on key locations on QWERTY layout so that the gestures can be recalled with command names. First, two consecutive distance taps are used to change mode. Through the experiment, we show that the tap 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 can be recognized with over 98% of recognition ratio. Tap 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 works well with two thumb used, works well with all fingers. works well with the landscape orientation use and works well on a small size mobile device. We developed a mock-up application of using tap tap tap. In the mock-up application, users can post a quick tweet by tapping new, confirm, and then typing Twitter. Or Users can run another application by typing run and typing name of the application. 